Hi, I'm Melissa Hooray with a devotional for Abundant TV. Here we are, the last week of the year, the very last week of 2023. It's a really exciting time, I think, as we look upon the new year and a fresh start, turning the calendar page over to January. I'd like to encourage you to think about in this year as it draws to a close, think about approaching the Bible in a new way next year. I, for one, plan to start reading the traditional King James version of the Bible. I've recently found out that a lot of the newer translations have been omitting words that really take the entire meaning out of a Bible passage. And there are many scriptures that are taken out of context or even used by New Age teachers to, to describe something that wasn't even intended by the text if you look at it originally in scripture. So I'd like to share one of those verses with you today. It's one of the most popular scriptures used by self-help gurus, New Age teachers, and the like to try to basically promote that we are governors of ourselves, that we can do anything through the power of our positive thinking, which is one of the, the messages that Americans just eat up like candy. You know, we want to believe that we have so much control and power over our lives and not submit to God's will for our lives. So that scripture is Proverbs 23, 7, and it says, as a man thinketh, thinketh in his heart, so is he. So we will often hear, as I said, motivational gurus telling us, you have to think positive. You have to align yourself with your desires. You have to keep your intentions in mind and then live from that. We always hear this. But when you really look at the fullness of the text, you look at the entire scripture, you see that that isn't what it means at all. Actually, the context has to do with understanding the heart of a miser or a stingy person. So it's actually telling you that if a person is acting like this, you know, it's saying, do not eat the bread of a miser nor desire his delicacies, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. So he basically is being a hypocrite. He says, go ahead, eat, drink, but really he doesn't mean it. His heart is not with you. So my challenge to you in the new year is to get serious about your Bible study, to not just take at face value what you're being told, maybe by teachers or even your own pastor. I would say the only way to really know the truth is through the empowerment of the Holy, Holy Spirit and really having a really good Bible, a really good version of the Bible. Like I said, for me, I'm going to be delving into the King James Bible this coming year and really digging into the original meaning of the text. So pray for discernment, pray for wisdom. These are some of the most powerful things that you can ask the Holy Spirit who will lead you in all truth to illuminate the Bible and make it come to life for you. God bless you in 2023.